Hey everyone, so for the past year or something so many of you requested that I do a CD collection but up until now all my CDs have been all over the place and I finally managed to get them all gathered into one place so I thought now will be the perfect time to do a collection. So this is my CD collection. I've only recently just sort of been, well, charitied or sold or whatever, about 50 CDs. So this is my narrowed down all important collection and they are in alphabetical order pretty much so I'll just take you through them. So first of all we have the John Barrowman's, we've got John, John, Jan Barrowman, John Barrowman Another Night, and then we have Music, 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 then that's just John Barrowman, and then we have the Essential John Barrowman there, and then we have the last one there, John Barrowman At His Very Best. I think the Essential and At His Very Best are my two favourites there. Then we have Mary Byrne, who is absolutely lovely, my apologies if the sunlight's reflecting on any of these, love that. Then we have the two Cheryl Coles, um, Three words and messy little raindrops. Love both of them. Then we have the best of um, the best Disney album in the world, which is three discs, seventy-five songs. That is incredible. I love that so much. Then we have the Doctor Who's. So we have the original, which is series one and two. That is my baby. That's like the best CD ever. And then we have series three, series four, series four specials. Then we have series five and A Christmas Carol, which is brilliant because we've got Catherine Jenkins singing on there. Can't wait for the next one. And then we have Torchwood. Now these should be further down if it's alphabetically, but I kind of just wanted to keep them next to next to Doctor Who. So we have the original, which is the first two series, and then we have Children of Earth, and obviously I'm waiting for um, Miracle Day to be released. Then we have The, the Proclaimers with Brian Potter and Andy Pipkin. I'm going to be 500 miles which was the Comic Relief CD. I mean, look at that. Who would pay £4 for a single CD nowadays? Nobody. Um, obviously, that shouldn't be there alphabetically, but it's because David Tennant's in the music video, so I kind of wanted it all to be there. Then we have Leslie Garrett, the best of. Then we have Leslie Garrett, soprano in love, and Leslie Garrett, the singer. I think that one's my favourite out of all three Leslie Garretts. And then we have Glass of Plastics, um, Time to Exist, which is their main album. Lead vocalist Trevor Lesseur, which is absolutely breathtaking. I love that. It's one of my favourite albums. I listen to it so much. And then, oh dear, we have High Five. I've had this for absolutely ages, but I just can't bear to part with it because it has some of the most energetic and enthralling songs I've ever heard. So I really do love that and don't want to get rid of that. Then we have my Catherine Jenkins. We have Living a Dream. And we have Rejoice. Second Nature. Premiere and that is it. I think out of all those ones I'd say Rejoice and ooh, probably Premiere are my favourite ones. Then we have the Loose Women album which is absolutely fantastic. It's just got a mix of sort of night out songs, really good. Then we have the Mary Poppins soundtrack. Then we have my Jay McDonald's. So we have Inspiration, The Collection which was my first Jane one. The, well it's not called The Cruise but I call it The Cruise because of the sticker but that's just titled Jay McDonald. Then we have Jane. I still need them live at London Play Gym and a couple of others. Then we have my Nolan songs. So we have um, the Nolan Sisters Making Waves. The Best of the Nolans. Disco Party Classics. And I'm in the Mood Again. I'm sure I had another one. Never mind. Then we have my Billy ones. So we have Honey to the Bee. Walk of Life. And The Best of. Then we have two singles. We have Thank Abba for the Music. And um, because she, uh, she wants you, which also has It Takes Two and Last Christmas on, this was my first ever Billy Piper CD, so that's very exciting. I did used to have all of her singles, but they were taking up so much room, and most of the songs are on the album, so I just thought, I'm not going to keep those. Then we have S Club Juniors, S Club 8, and, oh, crumbs, I Dream, so that's those three there. And then we have the two Soap Star Superstar ones, 2006 and 2007. 2006 is definitely better, but I do like 2007. Then we have Sound of Music soundtrack, Deborah Stevenson in the Sunshine, which I love, Connie Talbot over the Rainbow, Wicked soundtrack. Then we have Caroline Ray's comedy DVD, What Is It You Can't Face. Then we have Stephanie Economopoulos DVD, um, Come On It's Jokes. And then um, A Cockney Christmas, which is a bunch of Christmas songs sung in the Cockney accent. And, oh, that's my appearance on Smile. That's a DVD, but I look better with the CDs. Yeah, so that is my overall CD collection. Please feel free to leave comments and things, and also video response with your CD collections. I'd love to see what you have. I always find CD collections really kind of fascinating, because people have 
really different tastes. I mean, I have a really different taste. As you can see there, it's very easy listening, classical and soundtrack. There's not really much else in there. Or you have like sort of bubblegum pop and, well, I suppose that um, the Nolans could be classed as bubblegum pop as well. Kind of soul. Yeah, but please feel free to leave comments and I'll see you all next time. Bye.